The Basking Shark by Colton and Dominic. The Basking Shark's binomial name is Ceterhinus Maximus. Basking sharks generally grow from 20 to 26 feet long in their lifespan. Basking sharks can live up to 50 years. Adult basking sharks can weigh up to 4,000 pounds. Little is known about basking shark reproduction, but what they do know is that they're ovoviparous, which means they make eggs, which then hatch inside the other shark's body. Gestation is thought to last two to three years. The marine life zone that the basking shark lives in is the pelagic zone in the ocean. They like to remain in the continental shelf in that area, or otherwise known as the phototic zone. The basking shark prefers temperatures of 46.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Basking sharks have very few predators. These predators include great white sharks and killer whales and humans. Humans are the greatest offenders. Basking sharks usually live on the east coast, but then migrate south down to Brazil in the winter. Basking sharks are filter feeders that eat by opening their large mouths and waiting for plankton to float in. Despite its size, the basking shark is not aggressive towards humans whatsoever. The basking shark is very well suited for its current environment. It is suited for its current environment because of the way they catch their prey. These sharks are filter feeders like we said before. They swim at the top of the surface with their mouths open at about 1.2 meters wide. They filter the water which contains their food. This is really good because of the current area they live in. They have all the good krill and plankton, and because I said the U5 zone is heavily filled with the food they eat. We feel that the basking shark will not be extinct, and scientists will spend more time trying to study them in the near future. One reason that we say this is even though it's rated really vulnerable, that means it's at the very end of the lowest you can get. That means that they're not exactly too vulnerable, but they are vulnerable, which means that in the future they'll either keep reproducing and making more young. We can also say that scientists will spend time researching them because of how little we know about them. The human nature is to find more about what we don't know. And because we don't know a lot about basking sharks, they will spend more time searching and finding about them. For that reason, we think that in the near future we'll be able to create better ways to keep these animals healthy and not extinct. And that is why we think that they will not be extinct and scientists will spend more time researching them. Humans kill lots of basking sharks. They kill enough of them that they are in the vulnerable category of endangeredness. Firstly, humans hunt basking sharks for their fins, cartilage, large liver, and leather. Also, basking sharks frequently get caught in fishing nets which can kill them. Sometimes basking sharks get hit by motorboats and jet skis. Thanks for watching!